Hey, ka, hey, ka, hey, ka, hi, everybody. I hope you're all having a good day. I hope you're all smiling and enjoying your lovely day. So in this following tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you on how to set up expressions in Vignon. Now, there is a simplified way of doing this, and then there's the overcomplicated way of doing this. I'll start off by showing you guys a bit more of a simple, a little simple start when it comes to getting the expressions to be toggled. So similar to how VC face, where, uh, for example, you can have your numpad trigger the expressions or something like that. Um, there's also, of course, uh, since Vignon natively supports WebSockets, it can also work on the Stream Deck if you so desire, but we'll be going over um, hotkey stuff. So basically, there is a method where you can have it where Vignon will just play a toggle basically, and um, it can only like toggle on itself and it'll mix. So let me show you. So this is kind of what I call additive blend shapes. For instance, it's where you can take an expression, like how I have dizzy eyes, and basically you can combine it with other expressions, like this one. See? So pretty much, uh, that is pretty much like the simplified way of doing it, it's additive. However, uh, there may be some expressions that you don't want to mix. So for instance, if you want to have it where there's angry face, and then you have joy face, and you don't want them to mix basically. This one goes a bit complicated, but don't worry. I have a JSON graph, uh, a JSON graph uh, that should hopefully help ease, at least for the non-additive. But we'll start off with setting up additive. Um, we'll start off with setting up additive blend shapes toggle, so to make stuff easier. So we're gonna go into the node graph. That is step number one, and you're gonna go over here. And what you're going to do is you're going to look for the hotkey. Now, if you're a Stream Deck user, please use WebSocket. But if you are, if you don't have a Stream Deck, then use Hotkey. So we'll do Hotkey, and we're gonna set this to number one or just my NumPad one, whichever one. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna go into Action Nodes and you're gonna scroll all the way down until you find Blend Shape, which Blend Shape is right here under Slime. Um, it's right there. And then what you're going to do is you're gonna connect these points together. You're going to name one of your blend shapes. So for example, there's angry. Now, um, if you have other expressions such as blush or face shadow or anything like that, you can also type those down. If you don't know what they're called, then just go to the monitor here and you can check out all the blend shapes that are registered for VRM. Do keep in mind these blend shapes here are not the um, your shape key, your FBX ones, these are ones registered with VRM, so do keep that in mind. Um, and then pretty much once you set up angry, you can set this to 100, and then you can set this to any smoothness. I usually set it to 0 0.01, but that's up to you. And then you can set this as use as toggle. And then pretty much with numpad 1, you just made your first ever um, expression setup. Now, of course, if I were to go ahead and I were to duplicate this by right clicking and duplicating, and I set this to joy, and I set this to numpad two, if we were to put them together, you could see how they are mixing. And this is not what we want, at least for these expressions. So this setup here is great if you want to mix and combine certain expressions, but if you want to have it where these two don't override each other, so instead of, um, so instead of this, you can have this, um, so that way they don't mix into each other. So how to do that? Well, I did one over on my stream, uh, how to make it from scratch, but in the description below, I have the JSON graph you can download. This should pretty much work on any default VRM, VSF avatar, as long as you have the, the default VRM blend shapes registered. Um, which, if you're a void model, this should work perfectly fine with you. So, um, if you download it, go to the description, there's a Google Drive link, download it, and then you're going to click on this load button here, and you're going to say yes, and then I'm going to go ahead and load the um, hotkeys here. So I'm going to load it and basically it should look like this basically. So this is the graph that I want to give to you guys. Now, 
pretty much uh, if you only have your default Void, uh, VRM or if you're a Void model and you only have the default blend shapes, we pretty much just need this graph and you just have to edit the hotkeys and you're done. Or you can set up the smooth multiplier if you wish. Um, of course, if you want the WebSocket version in the description, I also have a WebSocket version you can download. That way, it's saving you more time. So yeah, uh, just saves you a lot of time. But pretty much, um, that's literally all the two things you have to edit. And pretty much, uh, once you go to your numpad, if you have one, if you don't, then change the values to something else. Um, then you could pretty much be able to have the toggle stuff similar to how VC face base expression, where it does not mix into each other. Now, to sort of explain this graph in case you want to get go a bit more complicated with this, um, basically you have your hotkeys in this column or this column here basically. So these are what triggers it. The column right here for these blend shapes, uh, if you see my mouse, um, these right here, the first column, this, these are the ones where the blend shape is actually being triggered. These are the ones that are being active. But pretty much all the others, uh, all the other blend shapes on the side of it are the ones that zero it out. Um, and they're all set to use as toggle since, you know, you want to be able to toggle it and stuff. So, yeah. And then of course here there is the additive blend shape example if you do wish to utilize it. If you don't, you can either leave it alone or delete it. But pretty much the um, the message here should pretty much let you know that these are what they are. So yeah. Um, now if you want to add more, what if you want to take this graph and you want to add more expressions? Well, to show you a bit more of a complicated example, which is, you know, like mine, Mine is a bit more complicated and more longer. It's pretty much the same formula I showed you, except the more blend shapes you add, the more nodes you're going to need, basically. Um, so please keep that in mind. Um, this, this is actually a really big node graph here, and yeah, very scary. Um, I am aware there is sort of a more simplified way of doing this with the expression settings here. Uh, when it comes to zeroing the blend shapes out. However, whenever I tried this, it only works like sort of 50%. So for ex for instance, let's say worry and joy, I would have them zero each other out. However, if I go from worry to joy, it'll z um, basically joy will zero out worry. But if I go from joy to worry, um, it will joy will not uh, be zeroed out, or s if that makes sense. Um, I only use the expression up here to only like zero out the blinking, I'll say. Um, I do apologize if this gets a bit confusing, but basically I only use the expression settings here to only like zero out like smiles or blinking, which Suvadrill has a tutorial that goes over this in depth, but I just kind of want to show you how mine look like, where I set it pretty much to a value of zero for eye blinking for instance. Um, especially for joy because my eyes are closed, so there's that. Um, but pretty much that's only if you absolutely need it to zero out your blinking, um, which I recommend especially for the joy expression if you're a void model. Make sure you check that out, but if you're trying to emulate the VC face base expression setting, then pretty much this graph that I made um, should hopefully cover you and take care of everything basically. But if you want to add more into this graph basically, all you have to do is duplicate it. So you're going to duplicate the hotkey and then duplicate the um, the blend shape that you want. So let's say, um, let's say for example we want to add the expression determined, which is the one expression I have that triggers the star eyes I have. And we're going to set this to hotkey 6. So um, what we're going to have to do if we're going to add another expression, we're going to have to actually duplicate all these basically. And they're going to be aligned. And also uh, what you're also going to have to do is you're going to have to duplicate determine and you're going to have to put into the ends of all these because you want to make sure they all toggle with each other like a whole system. So if you're going to add a new blend shape, this can get a bit tedious depending on how many more you want. But for my setup, this works. But once again, for some other people, you may not like it. 
So, and then make sure that you set to where determined is set to zero on all these, basically. So we're gonna do that. And then for determine here, we're going to select surprise and we're gonna put this under so it's zeroed out. And then pretty much it's just a matter of connecting them basically. So connect the dots or connect the little node dots things here. Which definitely can be a bit uh, time consuming depending on how many expressions. It definitely was a bit time consuming for mine. But pretty much this is, um, with this whole tedious thing, this is pretty much how I was able to do the whole uh, VC face like base toggle or non-additive toggles. It's basically uh, to the blend shapes. And pretty much I'm just showing this real time so that way you have a better feel like, okay, this is the actual real time of how long this actually would take if you were to add another blend shape basically. Whoops, hold on. Let me just do that. And then pretty much we got one more left. Right here. Alright. And then you double check to make sure all your connections are proper. And if they are, then you can go ahead and test it out. So let me go ahead and make this smaller. And basically um, we can now have it where we have determined and it doesn't mix with the other expressions basically see so yeah that pretty much just shows you like how to add another blend shape if you want to add more keep in mind like i said it tends to get complicated the more expressions you have the more nodes and depending on how much expressions you want to add it can lag um of course you can split this into multiple node graphs especially since vinyan now adds the little scroll bar here so that's great but yeah um but either way though i hope that should at least cover like how to emulate the sort of expression you can have either the simplified way or you can have a more complicated way um but either way it's really just up to you on how you want it of course and of course um again if you want to zero out so if you have joy and you don't want it to like um have it so it blinks then you can definitely go to expressions here and you could set it where if joy is active on the blend shape conditions, the output would have it where I, at least for air kit or webcam, um, you can have it where the blink is set to zero rather than a hundred. That way it doesn't mix weirdly, basically. So yeah. Um, but of course, do let me know if you have any other questions regarding the expression um, the expression setup with Vinyan. I know it can be a bit tedious depending on the effect that you're aiming for, but I'm really hoping that this should at least get you at least a basic start on um, being able to, you know, if you want to use Vinyan more natively and you want to have your expressions, hopefully this will help you out. Because definitely the expressions were the biggest reason um, why this it was a... At first, the biggest reason why I didn't fully swap over to Vinyan until I figured out this node, and now I'm fully in Vinyan. But yeah, either way though, I hope that this helps. Let me know if you have any other questions regarding uh, nodes or the expressions and stuff, and I will definitely, if I do find a more simplified way of doing this method, I definitely will make sure I make a tutorial on it. But with that being said, heka heka heka, sign up everyone, I hope to see you guys next time, okay? Bye!